UTSA beats Rice today 85-80. to It's time to visit with head coach Brooks Thompson, brought to you by Methodist Texan Hospital, the official health care provider of UTSA Athletics. A huge win for this team. Everybody's got smiles on their faces. It's so much more fun when there's a W on the other end of it, isn't it? No, oh, there's no doubt. It's a, it's a breath of fresh air. There's no doubt about it. But I'm proud of our guys. They've, they've been through the ringer, and they keep fighting and keep coming and bring energy and uh, you know, last game against North Texas, I th didn't think we finished it out well tonight. I still think we made a few mistakes <laughs> to do it, and we're going to watch that uh, tonight and tomorrow as a team, obviously. But uh, I'm proud of these guys. They're, they're great young men with great character, and uh, we just, we just got to keep the ball rolling. Hopefully this win will give them some confidence to roll into next weekend. Yeah, it was uh, – you had the big lead. They make a huge run, and they get to within two, but then there was a, just a little bit of um, – I don't know what it is, but they kind of settled down and did what they had to do to get the win after Rice made that big run at the end. Yeah, and Rice has done that. They did it at in El Paso uh, yeah. uh, thir or Friday. Excuse me, I'm used to saying Thursday, Sunday, but uh, Thursday, Saturday. But uh, they did it again at New Mexico as well. So I knew it was coming the whole time. I knew we had a nice lead, but uh, I was never comfortable until that buzzer hit. <laughs> How about that Kolachoff miss? Uh, <laughs> I know my heart was in my throat. Th that's the first thing we talked about right there. <laughs> that would have put him up one. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it was. Uh, and he's a great three-point shooter. Oh, absolutely. But we did a great job, our guys. And that's another thing that I'm really proud of, our guys. They really executed our game plan, and we didn't want to give those guys open shots. And uh, they got great shooters on there. There's no doubt about that. Evans is a freshman. He's a. He's a true talent. He's mm -hmm. a talented young man. But, and uh, Letcher Ellis is a freshman, too. Yeah, no, they, they've got some nice young players. There's no doubt about that. And they're, they're dealing with some inexperience like we are as well with the freshmen. And obviously, we got a couple junior college transfers. But um, Mike's a great coach, and they're going to they're gonna be, a, they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with in time. Uh, Christian Wilson, terrific game. Got to the rack, was one of your leading rebounders today. Just uh, did a terrific job out there once he got in the game. He was really good. He was really good. And that's a, that's what I just keep preaching to him every day, be an everyday guy, every day. Bring it, bring it, bring it. And I'm even teaching our entire team or, or talking to him about, you know, it's a process. you got to thank the game, not only at practice, but you have to come to practice prepared, but you got to think about it every evening, and it's got to be it's got to be your highest priority besides academics. And Gino ran the, the floor of the, the team and got to the rack a couple of times and made some really tough shots himself. No, he did, and he's been doing that really well lately, you know. So uh, uh, Gino's done a great job. Our guys, we really got a bunch of paint touches, and we really wanted to do that, and it gave got our, our three-point shooters open, and uh, Bowie hit a huge one over there, and then in the corner at the end mm -hmm. of the shot, or in the, on the wing and the end of shot clock. But uh, it's a great victory for us, Andy. There's no doubt. Absolutely. And then talk about Nick, Nick, Nick Billingsley. You had to play him a ton of minutes today, and uh, it talks about a guy. You always talk about being ready when you get called, and he was ready today. Yeah, and we we've done extra work with Nick to make sure that he was ready to play at the four spot because we were playing him at the at the wing position. But the four and the three are the same in in, in my system. But uh, I knew I was going to play him a lot as long as he wasn't making the mistakes, and he didn't. He brings a, a tremendous amount of athleticism to our team, and hopefully we can just keep – he can keep getting better and better and better with, with repetition. And we go on the road. Uh, we haven't been on the road for a month, but uh, it's time to go back out on the road and two tough games coming up next weekend. Well, we don't miss the road. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> but we'll get out there and, uh, you know, we got a couple, couple tough ones. But uh, I think our guys will step up to the challenge, and I think that this – hopefully we can just keep this momentum going into practice. Uh, and going into those games starting Thursday. Thanks so much. Good Thanks. win, and we'll uh, look forward to the road trip on Wednesday. Thanks so much, Andy. Happy New Year. And a terrific game for Gino Littles. Congratulations. It's a big win. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you. How's your knee or uh, quad or whatever was bothering you out there? Oh, my quad's good. It's just uh, right below my knee. It just kind of spazzed up. It wasn't really a cramp, so every time I moved, it kind of like stopped. So, But I'm going to be good. You're all right. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. All right. The, this team has gone through uh, all the – the turmoil and the difficulty of trying to get wins. You had the, the great play against North Texas that you couldn't finish the other day, but a terrific win today. Yeah, a terrific win. I mean, we fell short to uh, North Texas, but, you know, Coach T said, you know, we're going to get this one. We're going to go one and one in conference, going back on the road, and that's what we did. We got this win. It's huge for us. How did you bounce back? Because a lot of teams, especially teams that have struggled to win all year, would kind of look the other way and go, man, we had the win against North Texas and let that slip away, but you didn't today against, uh, against Rice. Yeah, we kind of just came together as a team, and, you know, we told each other we had that North Texas game. We fell short, and we felt like coming in this game, Rice is a very good team, but they're very beatable. So, you know, we kind of we worked hard. Uh, and very prepared for them. It was a quick transition, but uh, we were ready and got this W. And then you uh, got uh, some play from guys that didn't don't necessarily play a whole lot. Uh, 
James Ringel got the start today. Nick Billingsley had to play a ton of minutes with mm -hmm. uh, Lucas in foul trouble. Yeah. Uh, terrific performance from those guys who were ready when you needed them. Yeah, the bench was ready when we needed them, and it, and it helped a lot. Nick Billingsley came in with nine points, and he played very good, and uh, that's exactly what we need to spark off the bench to get us going, especially I, Christian Wilson, too. I'm amazed. amazed. You, you are getting in this way, way, too, but Christian especially, the tough shots he hits in, around the rim, and you've hit a couple of uh, yeah. guys who can kind of <laughs> close your eyes and throw it up there, and it goes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, me and Christian on the floor, I feel like it, it's a good combination because we can both space the floor and drive, but he, uh, he hit some big shots and some tough ones late down the stretch, and that's what we need to win the game. All right, uh, big win, but you don't get to wait too, too long. you got to go get uh, back to practice tomorrow and get ready for the road trip on uh, Wednesday and the game on Thursday. Exactly. No days off. I like it. All right. Thanks Appreciate so much. You, you got it. That's Gina Littles with us on our postgame report. We'll come back and wrap things up and take a look at the scoreboard next. This is Roadrunner Basketball from Learfield Sports.